Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick video on how to get going on Lab 5. Uh, after you pull from Git, you'll notice that you have a bunch of new packages in your file, including um, the files you need to edit right here. Um, we've provided you with strings, uh, which has, you know, checking to see if something is, you know, alphabetically before, equal to, or after. Um, if string A is after, string B is the case here. You'll notice that all of them sort of ignore case. Um, and we're going to build a linear search, sort, and binary search. And so uh, the first thing you can do is, uh, if you're trying to figure out something, you can, by the way, you can hit Command Shift or Control Shift T and type out um, linear search, right? Um, and that will open up that file so you can sort of see it. Uh, in this case, we have a lab five test suite is going to be the thing that starts and runs all the tests. You can see it's running the strings one, the linear search, the sort, and the binary search. If I run this, if I run it as a JUnit test right here, uh, you can see that uh, it's going to run a ton of tests. Um, and so it might take a long time for it to finish. You can see we pass all the strings one. We gave you that. Uh, but here you can see it's failing a bunch in all the ones because they're not yet implemented. If you look at here, it's saying uh, not yet implemented. And if I double click on it, uh, it takes me to the where this right here is the t are the tests. These are the results of an individual test. I can click on all of them. They'll all be not yet implemented at this moment. Um, and sort of see like they're all not yet implemented. And they'll all bring me back here, which is telling me to delete this line and actually write this code. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is that uh, you can run all the test suites, but you can also just run an individual one. So let's work on um, the linear search test suite. And we can see now just this part, so we don't have to wait for all the other ones to complete. So it's telling me to delete this line. Uh, so let's just do that. And what I'm supposed to do in this file is, you know, sort of find the first index of key in the array. Uh, so I can write myself a little plan here, like loop over all uh, elements in the array. You know, if I find the key, return the index uh, it's located at. Um, Otherwise, if I'm all done, uh, return minus one, because that's what it's telling me right here uh, to do. Okay, so that's going to be my high-level plan. And let's say uh, we just want to uh, write the worst possible implementation, and that plan is just return zero. And, it's, and just no matter what array it sends me, no matter what key, I'll always return zero. You see I'm passing some of the tests here, like, you know, for example, this one where I uh, send in A and B, and I expect zero, right? Like my thing works for that. But as you might imagine, uh, it fails on uh, this one where, you know, I'm expecting zero. I'm expecting uh, one, but I'm returning zero every time. So let's, uh, first of all, this is not correct, the correct implementation, but let's just go ahead and build this. Um, let's build like the following uh, rather simple thing at the very beginning. Let's just check the first item. So what we can do is we can say if array sub zero, you know, you obviously want to loop over the whole thing, but I'm going to do if array sub zero equals the key. And uh, I cannot reiterate enough, this is not the appropriate uh, solution to the problem, but let's just return zero under that under those circumstances. And otherwise, return minus one, okay? So there's a couple of things wrong with this. First of all, I'm going to just make a quick comment here, just so no one loses sight of this. Uh, never use equal equals to check uh, for strings. Uh, in this case, use strings.equals, the methods we gave you, right? So uh, I'm going to run this test. It's going to fail on a bunch of things. I just want to sort of show you a couple of things. So first of all, uh, there's this comprehensive test, which tests a ton of things. And this is a, an error so common that we put in this bonus check for you. Um, and it's desperately trying to print out to sell you, you know, hey, by the way, I made we made this very custom test that has two strings, both with equal A, or both are equivalent to A. Um, we did a search on just for A on itself, right? And then we did this thing that uh, sort of triggers a problem with Java and languages like it, where, um, you know, if you use equal equals, it's going to catch this one very specific thing. So it's telling us not to do that. Uh, we can tunnel in uh, to first index uh, of and, and just sort of follow what it's telling us to do there. So I'm going to do strings.equals instead for array sub zero and key, right? Uh, I can hit command shift, control shift or command shift F to format that whole thing. And now I will um, 
get get past that test, right? So now I've passed both of these like very specific thing catching that. But you'll notice here, um, obviously this fails for a ton of different things, like anything where it's not in the zeroth element. Um, right here, it's actually throwing an array index out of bounds question. I can click on it, it takes me right here. Of course, it makes sense to do that, uh, that, you know, for an empty array, uh, this would array index out of bounds. For this one, where it's full of stuff, it's like, well, you don't array index out of bounds, but it's still like not returning the right answer. So obviously you'll want to uh, build that correctly. Um, and I leave that as an exercise to you. Hopefully you'll enjoy this lab.